Greetings. This would be a comprehensive video report regarding the potential for a major geophysical event felt here on the Earth in 2025, and specifically focusing on the Neptune-Saturn convergence which takes place in July of 2025, and ultimately their conjunction of February 2026, and with it the potential for a major geophysical event to come. Now I do feel that we are coming up into a period July 4 and 5 where there could be a major earthquake across the Greece region. And this is the main reason for this upload. This is due to the hypersymmetry of past earthquakes across Greece and the planetary alignment of Neptune and Saturn, as well as Neptune having a very strong convergence into the lunar node. Now it must be mentioned that the Dodecanese Islands Greece region experienced a very significant earthquake swarm which began late January 2025, extending into February where thousands of earthquakes were reported. Earthquakes stemming and ranging from 2 to 5 magnitude a significant and powerful earthquake swarm and we can see the association with Neptune connecting hard into the North Node and something worth considering as it has been a key resonance factor for major earthquakes in the past for the region and we're starting to see this again in 2025. Not only the earthquake swarm across the Dodecanese Islands but a series of very strong earthquakes across Greece and also the Aegean Sea stretching in towards neighbouring Turkey. Strong earthquakes registered up towards 6.2 magnitude especially around Crete, Greece. I do feel there's a very strong resonance here and I will show in this video the strong symmetry with the planetary alignment of Neptune and Saturn as well as the key attributes of Neptune having a very strong configuration and geometry into the lunar node. A series of very powerful earthquakes struck the Greece region in 1953 and 1956. In 1956 a magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake struck just south of the Amorgos Island. This earthquake was extremely powerful, followed up just 30 minutes later with another earthquake, magnitude 7.2. Now these earthquakes had a 30 metre tsunami associated and absolutely decimated the region. It must be noted that in 1953 another very strong earthquake struck the Greece region, the Ionian Islands in Greece. This earthquake was magnitude 6.8 and experienced a series of foreshocks and an aftershock which caused quite significant damage and a substantial loss of life. Estimated that 800 people had lost their lives with these earthquakes. Now I'm going to be using astrocartography and focusing on the planetary conjunctions and mapping them to the Earth. There was a triple conjunction of Neptune and Saturn in 1952 and 1953 which preceded this major earthquake 6.8 magnitude. As we can see the third conjunction, its position of both Neptune and Saturn very close to the epicenter of the earthquake to come. It's important to note that the July 22nd 1953 conjunction of Neptune and Saturn, the earthquake occurred the following month on August 12. Now looking ahead to 1956 and the preceding events that took place prior to the Amorgos Island earthquake magnitude 7.7. .7. Now we just follow the motion and movement of Neptune in 1954 and 1955 and marking the station of both times the Neptune station took place and note the proximity of the future earthquake to come marking pretty much very near the earthquake epicenter. Now the most interesting aspect of them all, Neptune had very strong aspects into the lunar node at the time of both stations but the important aspect of them all, the earthquake event itself in 1956 took place when Neptune stationed. We're now looking at a chart of both stations of Neptune in 1954 and 55. In 1954 Neptune was stationing while having a very strong square aspect into both lunar nodes. And in 1955 in the month of July Neptune was also stationing having a very strong connection, this time a perfect connection, trining into the south node. Now I'm going to expand a little bit further. We had a very strong earthquake swarm striking the Santorini volcano region in 2011. And importantly, looking at a chart on this day, we have Uranus having a very strong square aspect into both nodes, but importantly Neptune is having a very strong configuration, again, into the south node, a trine aspect. I have no doubt that the Neptune-Saturn conjunction is the main facilitator for these earthquake events across the region, not only with the 1950s earthquakes of 1953 and 56, but also preceding another strong earthquake series struck the region with the same symmetry, again with a triple conjunction. So I do feel that the upcoming planetary station of Neptune may be significant and we may see a much larger earthquake potentially reaching close to 7 magnitude. We're now going to go back 36 years and follow the Neptune-Saturn connection and conjunction and there were two strong earthquakes across Peru, 6.9 and 6.5 magnitude in 1990 and 1991 related to this conjunction. Now we're going to be using astrocartography and focusing on the planets, specifically Neptune and Saturn and the previous conjunction back in 1989 or 36 years ago. 
Now I'm going to animate the software. I'm going to be watching both planets moving across and I've localised the Peru region as we had a series of earthquakes striking the region in the years following. There's our first conjunction between Neptune and Saturn. Neptune will station very near this house location marking the future earthquake epicentre. Saturn stations not far away and then turns back retrograde. So we've got both planets now moving retrograde, making connection with Mars. Venus comes through and then the Sun. So we get multiple planetary alignments while they're in retrograde. Both planets are now retrograding back across Ecuador and Peru. Saturn's offshore. Neptune's about the station. Both planets about the station back move direct motion. Now Jupiter comes in and makes a connection with both planets. If that wasn't enough, Jupiter is stationing, slowing down its motion and movement, turning retrograde back into this conjunction of Neptune and Saturn and joined by Venus which is moving through. So a near four-way planetary connection late 1989 marks a very powerful series of planetary connections and a series of earthquakes followed in the Peru region in 1990 and also 1991. There were three conjunctions of Neptune and Saturn in 1989, the first occurring in March, and note the very powerful chart aspects showing on the left hand side and the house location of the future earthquake event to come, not too far away. Eleven months later we have a very strong earthquake, 6.5, and the following year, eleven months later, a magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck the Peru region. We're now going to look back at the previous cycle in conjunction of Neptune and Saturn. It took place in 1953 where a very strong earthquake struck the Ionian Islands, Greece. Magnitude 6.8 devastated the region. Now using astrocartography and focusing in on the Neptune-Saturn geolocation on the Earth, and we're focusing on the Greece region, and we can see that both planets, Neptune and Saturn, have just made their first conjunction while moving retrograde, now starting to slow down from the retrogrades, about to station and turn direct motion. And note the house location is marking the future earthquake epicenter. So both stations are almost simultaneous and we can see that the earthquake event is almost equidistant in between both Neptune and Saturn. And then Saturn moves through and makes another connection with Neptune and another conjunction. And this is all occurring in 1953. This is the first official conjunction. It took place in November of 1952 while in direct motion. Then both planets station and then turn back retrograde. Now looking at the exact date of the earthquake, the 12th of August, we see a very powerful chart. Note that Jupiter is having a very strong aspect into both planets and also Uranus is having a square aspect into both planets. Very interesting and very harsh planetary geometry is taking place and this is the exact date of the earthquake. Now what's fascinating about this earthquake is that Uranus and also Jupiter are assisting in this earthquake event. We can see that Uranus is having a square aspect into both planets as they were stationing and turning back direct motion. And Jupiter was opposing Neptune, made a perfect opposition right over the house location marking the future earthquake epicenter. And just five months later, a very strong earthquake struck the region of Greece. Now going back 36 years to 1917 and focusing on the Neptune-Saturn conjunction, this time the focus and attention of both planets is primarily northeast of China. We're going right back to 1917. We're now in the month of July, July 28 to be exact. And if we have a look, we have the near conjunction between Neptune and Saturn, also joined by the Sun. So the Sun is making a connection with both planets just on the days preceding this conjunction. They're going to progress it forward. And the conjunction takes place on the 31st of July 1917. And this is the exact date of the earthquake in the house location marking a 7.5 magnitude earthquake striking the northeastern China region. Now it must be mentioned that the Neptune-Saturn connection and convergence will get within 13 minutes of separation just prior to both planets moving station and retrograde. So this will be the key time frame to watch. Now it's not a perfect conjunction, that will take place February 2026. But importantly there is a squeezing of both planets and also the retrograde of both planets will be highly significant. So the entire month of July could be quite powerful in terms of earthquakes across the globe and I'm concerned that the Greece region could experience a large event. Now the main time frame definitely will be July 4 and 5 due to the Neptune station but also we need to closely monitor the time frame around mid-month around when Saturn stations as well. So something to watch and I'm concerned of a strong event and that's the reason for this upload. Now we'll be making another upload regarding the Neptune-Saturn position geodetically in 2025 and 2026 as I do feel a major earthquake will result. So not only do we have 
a connection and reset point for a major event in July, but also see another earthquake event of significance related to Neptune Saturn, and that'll be another video upload. Now I do suggest that people have a look at the website. I do have newsletters being uploaded and I will be working on the September newsletter very shortly. So I do strongly recommend people have a look at these newsletters. There's a lot more information contained within. And I will leave the links in the description box for anyone interested. So it's important to just have a look at the website, solarwatcher.net and quakewatcher.com. Not only are there website newsletters, but also I'll be uploading a bunch of astrocartography videos each month as well. I do feel that we are moving into a very interesting period in terms of geophysical and also geopolitical events globally, so keep safe. Thanks for watching.